Let me just say um, two or three very quick things. First of all, um, we are very, very proud of the Edinburgh School to have on our faculty a number of people who are deeply committed to the study of communication and journalism and public relations and internet studies um, in China. We have, I think, five or six Mandarin speakers on the faculty full time. We have a whole plethora of, uh, of research programs that are underway. The university has been generous enough to transfer the U.S.-China um, Center uh, Institute to the Annenberg School, and we're delighted uh, for that, which will allow us to do even more exciting things in this space. Um, and in your program, there's sort of the propaganda page where I <laughs> talk about all the cool things we're doing. Um, but more than what Annenberg is doing, I'd like to just toss out to you a few things that you might want to think about for the next decade. We've had a very successful decade so far. What should we think about for the next decade? Um, one of those might be, how do we encourage greater cross-campus uh, collaboration? We do, we come together once a year. We've been doing that quite well. But how do we build up more cooperation among researchers from one campus to the other. There has been some collaborations, they will continue, but are there ways that we could think about to accelerate that? Um, secondly, as you will see from the good work that uh, Mei Fong has done and others with, in connection with this conference, how do we build up ties to non-academic institutions? Whether it is in civil society organizations uh, or corporations, or Wikipedia, or what have you, of any kind of organization that shares our purpose, but maybe beyond the campus. So how do we develop these partnerships? I think that's something um, to think about. On the more scholarly and academic side, how can we conceive, or can we conceive, of new theoretical and conceptual framework that would be especially suited for the study of media and internet in China. Are there new paradigms? Are there new theories that we can generate through our study that would be especially appropriate for uh, PRC and other um, uh, culturally Chinese areas of the world? And then perhaps even more boldly, are there ways that we can develop theories and concepts through our work in the study of the internet in China that will be even more broadly applicable to Latin America, to the United States, to Europe. So these are the kinds of, uh, of theoretical and conceptual challenges that I would like to offer you. And then in, 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 in my final remark is that what is so wonderful about this initiative and the CIRC is that it involves established scholars and younger scholars, professors and graduate students. And this has really been a joy to many of us to see the graduate students become professors and move into their own very, very, very successful careers. And so I hope that that will continue to be the hallmark of the CIRC moving into the future. So it is a multi-generational activity and we look not only 10 years into the future, but 20 years, 30 years into the future, um, and have a successful 30-year future, just as we've had a very successful 10-year past. So, Sheshe, and enjoy this uh, wonderful event. Thank you very much.